So just a really simple video on how to show you guys how to get the uh, 2.76 uh, crop in uh, Resolve 12.5. So it's really simple. All you have to do is load up a preset for 2.76 to 1 Ultra Panavision. Uh, essentially there's going to be a link below on how to get the correct calculation. So you hit that, and you hit load, <clears throat> which will which will do this to your video with these uh, black bars on top, right? Um, so what you're going to do is, after you go to deliver, <clears throat> then uh, you could hit Vimeo, select all your settings, make sure it's, it's what you want, 720p, frame rate, uh, that kind of stuff. And then you're going to go to add to render queue, <clears throat> start render. So once this is actually happening at the moment right now, <clears throat> the problem you're going to run into is there's going to be these black boxes at the top and at the bottom. So the problem is, is that on uh, Vimeo, <clears throat> it'll actually look just like this here without the actual uh, without the whole screen taken up, all of the real estate on uh, <clears throat> on Vimeo, so that's a problem because then your video is just going to look really small like this unless you hit full screen on there. <clears throat> so what what we're trying to uh, accomplish here is utilize not just a part of the Vimeo page <clears throat> once you're playing back the video, but the entire page. So it'll take up roughly from about here. To here so it'll be just this video without the black bars on the top and on the bottom right guys so the video that I found helpful in terms of before you do anything you're gonna have to um, essentially do this little uh, math work here <clears throat> to determine exactly how much you're gonna have to uh, cut right off the top and off the bottom to create those black lines before we can even remove the black lines. <clears throat> so just uh, listen to this uh, to this girl here and she gives a pretty good explanation on how uh, to actually get the calculations. In this case it's full HD so it's going to be 1920 and divided by the ratio that I want to apply which is 276. I'm going to bring up a calculator and say 1920 divided by 276. That's given us our new height. We'll round it up, so 696. And we now have to subtract this new height from the old height to find out how much we need to remove from the top and bottom of the image. So that's going to be 1080 minus 696. And divide it by 2 to find out what the size of the blanking is. So that's 192 pixels from the top. And then we just subtract 192 from 1080 which is 888 I think that looks pretty correct so all right guys so basically what she's showing here um, it's really cool of her to uh, show everybody how that's done <clears throat> um, but the thing is is you have to understand that for her application she was doing full HD uh, in, in my uh, um, ex uh, basically what I'm doing here is in 720p so just so you know your 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 calculations are not going to be identical um like hers uh, they're going to be uh they're going to be slightly different <clears throat> so you're not you're not going to be cutting as much off the top and off the bottom so to get the actual 2.76 to 1 ultra um panavision look like this so what i ended up getting and, and again yours is going to be different so don't just <clears throat> start typing these numbers in but uh, i got uh about 128, I, I guess, pixels off the top, and then uh, so, and 128 off the bottom. So you basically have to uh, subtract, right? So just uh, follow what she did. If you're doing 720p, you're going to end up with um, uh, 463 total, but if you divide the 463 by 2, you'll get 128. So then <clears throat> that's what you're going to put on the top and, and on the bottom after you subtract uh, the number. 
So what you'll do next is you're going to have to download this free application, MPEG Stream Clip. Uh, it's essentially, it's a free software completely. And you're going to have to download this, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Once you have it rendered in Resolve 12.5, you're going to open it into MPEG uh, Stream Clip in order to trim these black bars off the top and the bottom, right? They're called, um, it's like the letter box, right? That you um, uh, got over in, uh, <clears throat> in DaVinci Resolve. So just hit open once you selected the video. And then at this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna file, export to QuickTime or whichever <clears throat> other application you decide to use <clears throat> and then here see how it says cropping and this is from a previous video I was just messing around with it um, usually it's one, 128 for, for my purpose here <clears throat> but depending on which one um, depending on which one you're actually doing uh, which uh, aspect ratio it's going to change from 128 <laughs> could be less so you're just cropping out pixels here from the top and from the bottom um, and again mine's gonna be different a different crop so here's the new file I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks without the black bars you select um, time lop time uh, line one crop new that new one that we just created and then just show you real quick on here and then Vimeo. So see how it actually takes up all of the screen instead of it taking up, you know, just uh, with the black bars a little tiny part. So it's going to convert here real quick. Oh, by the way, it's called blanking. Uh, blanking is the process that you're doing over in uh, Resolve 12.5. So you hit play. So basically you guys see how it's showing the whole video in, in complete resolution without the black bars, right? So this is exactly how it'll look on Vimeo. I'm going to upload it there and then you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. So guys, here is uh, essentially a really quick test, the finished product. So it looks like this where see it's taking up the entire um, width of the screen almost on the Vimeo page so basically that's how it looks like I'm just gonna show you one more here <clears throat> so you could see like what I'm talking about which doesn't look good but it's see it's like this if you upload it without cropping the bars it'll look <clears throat> kinda that looks like in the center so just make sure you crop out those uh, top and bottom bars in that software <clears throat> and you should be good to go.